Hi, this is Gali Goldfarb and welcome to the Gorilla Life Coaching Series. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you, and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you are feeling happy because this is what I will talk about today. Today, the quote of the day is, it isn't what you have or who you are or where you are or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about it. This is by Dale Carnegie. This quote is absolute genius. All our happiness or unhappiness comes from our mind and from our view of life through our own eyes. Whether you are happy or not is your own fault, or rather, your own responsibility. First of all, in order to be happy, you want to choose to be happy. Otherwise, you will not take the steps that will get you to this state of mind. It takes focused work, mind work, to choose happiness over complaining, whining, and depression. So what needs to be done to, make, to become happy? Well, since happiness is an emotion, it is much simpler to achieve than we are led to believe. But the simplicity of getting to happiness does not mean that there is no need for concentrated effort to reach this place of happiness. This concentrated effort needs to be placed on your thoughts and the images that you hold in your mind about how things are or how they should be. Just as happiness is an emotion, fear and worry are also emotions. And these emotions, being most often contradictory to happiness, cannot usually be felt at the same time. If we are entertaining a fearful or worrisome thought, we will not be able to allow happiness in at the same time. Our perception of reality will determine how we see life and situations in our life, and this will lead to emotions of either happiness or the opposite. Whether we are happy or not is in our control, even though we may not believe this to be true. It is true. If your reality doesn't make you happy, the way you view reality doesn't make you happy, then you can change it. You are responsible for your outlook on life and you are responsible for your level of happiness. The way you choose to see things is nothing more than an opinion in most cases. Your opinion and your perspective in most cases. It, it doesn't have to be the reality. It, doesn't, it isn't always the reality the way we see things and it most often isn't. I made a video on this, um, which I'll make a link to at the end of this video. So, can your level of happiness be changed? Of course, the answer is yes. I find that happiness is actually our natural state. When you look at children, you see that they are simply happy. If you ask children if they are happy, this sounds like a trick question to them. Of course they are happy and they will answer unless they are living in some kind of extreme situation where they receive no love or are confronted by other survival difficulties. Happiness is our natural state. But we lose this feeling or state as we grow up. We feel we need to have certain things to become happy. But we know that, that riches or anything outside of us cannot really make us happy. They can make us happy for a very short time, but not really lasting happiness. There are many rich people who have, or people that have the things that you desire, and they still suffer from depression, anxiety, stress, and they do not appreciate wealth. Uh, most people view happiness as more important than wealth, except if for those people who do not have wealth, and then they consider it in first position. Um, people who are very wealthy consider it unimportant in comparison to, ha to having happiness. Now, happiness is not anything that can come to you from outside of you. It, it needs to come from within. We may feel that we are not enough, or that we need more to prove ourselves, or that we are lacking something, but this is not and was not our state as we were growing up. We did feel good enough and we did feel happy until something happened in our life. We got exposed to another person's negativity that we took on as our own. From that moment on, our focus turned towards what is missing, what we are lacking, and what is not good enough in us or in our surroundings. Then we start to search for the happiness that we lost but when we search for it, we are coming from a place that we don't have it. It means that we are unhappy now and we are searching for something that we lack. But this is not true. 
We have a choice to be happy in the moment or not. Now, even if our situation is extreme, as it was in the case of Viktor Frankl in the concentration camps during the Second World War, we can choose to know that there is perfection in everything, even if we do not yet understand it. We may understand it in the future, we may never understand it, but there is perfection in every situation. If we see things as uh, some, something that will help the advancement of humankind and that this is necessary too, then we will feel happier. External factors then become irrelevant as to which emotional state we choose to entertain within us. Our internal environment is chosen by us. We choose our internal environment no matter what is happening outside of us. You are in control of your internal environment if, even if you have no control over anything in your external environment. The feelings and emotions you entertain affect every aspect of your life since they affect every cell of your body to function in a certain way. Emotional states are affected by the body just like the body is affected by emotional states. And this is why I find it is so important to pay attention to your body, to your posture, to your facial expression, and the way you carry yourself and walk. By speeding up your walk, straightening your back, pulling your, in your belly, and relaxing your facial muscles, you can change your emotional state and become happier. When you decide to do this uh, on a regular basis, you will see a major difference in your health and well-being. One great piece of advice to changing an emotional state is to take a brisk walk in nature. In nature, you may connect to the oneness of everything, to the perfection of everything, no matter what we think of it. I had a gardener come to my garden and tell me that a certain plant was a weed and that I should get rid of it. But I didn't listen to him, and this weed grew and grew to the height of three meters and started to bloom, and now it is a really beautiful plant. Ralph Waldo Emerson described a weed as a plant whose virtue has not yet been discovered. So who decides what is a weed anyway? For one man, a plant may be a weed, and for another, it makes uh, the garden greener and become more alive. It is all down to our perspective. Happiness is definitely within our reach, but you will only recover it from the place that you lost it or hid it, which is outside of you, when you stop uh, judging yourself according to your accomplishments and according to external factors. This is the place you lost your happiness. You can recover happiness in the place where you stop judging yourself and your situation according to anybody else's measures. Allow yourself to return to your true nature, the nature of love and acceptance. Accept what is and make the best of it. Accept what is and make the best of it. When this becomes your measure of happiness, then nothing can take this state away from you ever, ever again. Just accept what is in front of you and find a way to make the best of it. When you do this, you will see life through calm and accepting eyes, and this will reveal true happiness to you that no one can take away. So as I always do with these videos, I will ask you a question. I will. I will point out a question that you can ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, in what area of my life uh, where I have difficulty can I accept what is and make the best of it? Very simple, but very profound. As usual, I recommend writing this question and, and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these sessions so that you can look over them and improve your life and move your life forward to the place that you would like to be. The affirm which is right now, anyway. To be happy, you have to understand that this place is here and now. <laughs> this is where you want to be. This is where you are. And from this moment on, you can only make it even better. But you accept this moment and are happy with it as it is. The affirmation of the day is, I am living a happy life I am happy and accept all that is without judgment. I am living a happy life and I am happy and accept all that is without judgment and make the most of it. <laughs> now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because with repetition and affirmation has the power to transform your life and make it better for you. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to do with wellness, your health, and your well-being. Thank you very much. <music>